Yo, what's good, y'all? Uh, I'm not finna keep y'all here too long. I just wanted to talk about this real quick because it's crazy, man. Like, what? Uh, so, yeah, it's basically the I Love You, You Hate Me, Barney documentary. Um, it's like, no way. Like, how is this even, you know, possible? And I'm going to link a video in the description to a video I made before. And y'all can comment on this one or the other one. And... You know, possibly if y'all want a whole review, I'll probably try to sit down and watch it all the way through. Because right now I'm just, you know, giving you all this information because many people may not know. But, you know, I'm just reiterating it again. If y'all do know, y'all know. But it's just, you know, because I recently did make a video probably a month or two ago. And yeah, there's a documentary coming out now. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of crazy. But, uh, but yeah, there's a potential full review if requested. Uh, so, yeah, I checked out the trailer. Um, it was a, it was a good trailer because understanding what I was talking about in my previous video, I brought up some of the things that people were doing and, you know, for the most part, they kind of put that, what I was talking about in the previous video into this Barney documentary where there is a lot of hate going on for the most part, a lot of hate and a lot of hateful things that are directed at this, you know, suppose, suppose it's children's show you know what i'm saying uh so yeah there's basically the voice of barney and it's a weird thing about that i didn't know like the voice was different than the actor i thought they were one and the same but you know what i'm saying i as i growing up now i understand that oh okay these voices and you know who's actually playing these characters are different than you know what's going on and it's just pretty much a look at what happened in the background, like all the actors and, you know, what people suffered in the background, the threats, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's very real stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know, the vows, the internet kind of twisted all this stuff. So pretty much Barney is a PBS show from 1992, a kid's show. And it was very popular, but, you know, people had issues with it for some odd reason. And it's on Peacock, the streaming subscription service, and it came out the 12th. So I'm recording this, um, I'm recording this the 17th. It came out the 12th, October 12th. And it chronicles furious backlash that was aimed at this, you know, children's dinosaur, Barney. And what it says about the human need to hate. Uh, there's threats, there is burnings, rec uh, recordings of, you know, just hate and wrongful things done to plushies. And, you know, there's things sent to the creators and the voice of Barney, which is Bob West. And it's all just a little crazy and it's all probably chronicled in this series. Um, and Bob, Bob West kind of detailed what Barney stands for. And I really appreciated what he kind of, you know, iterated as what Barney stands for. And Barney stands for inclusion and acceptance. And, you know, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of fits the symbol of love, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the whole thing about Barney where it's like, I love you, you love me. And there was really nothing bad about that, you know. So, yeah, like I iterated before. Uh, I thought the, the voice and the, you know, the person wearing the suit weren't the same, but <laughs> I was a little wrong, but yeah, it's just how he brought across that message. It just makes a lot of sense for what Barney was doing in the show as well. And, you know, just it, it probably is showing the underbelly and the dark side of, you know, people as who they are and. You know what? How it affected the series and the background. You know what I'm saying? And how I can kind of explain it, playing like the an advocate. Um, it can be people's fears of these, you know, animatronics or costume characters. You know, uh, just somebody. That's, you know, meant to be directed at kids, but they're a full grown adult. And, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of stories, 
uh, mascots, you know what I'm saying, and other crazy things. There's a lot of stories of, you know, bad things happening to children from the people that were in these, you know, supposed costumes and mascots that brings fear to people. And the trust is not always there for all these other stories and, you know, personal traumatic issues that people have an issue with, you know, somebody kind of, you know, trying to get close to you in these type of suits. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of, you know, traumatic things that go on. And I understand why some people would do it, but for the most part, it's just there's really nothing to go off of if all the characters that did well, if none of the actors were bad people, you know what I'm saying? And it just it goes to my question where it's like who is really the who is really behind these characters? Are they good or bad? And that's kind of the raising question that, you know what I'm saying, I think that could be answered in this documentary or, you know, people who sent the hate, they need to be asked this question. It's just, you know, people need to be shown that or they just always are skeptical about, you know, what what this person or who this person is behind all this. You know, cause it, it could be all of this and that, feeding all the lies, but at the same time, this is not the person you'd want to look up to and they're, they're not the person you thought they were. You know what I'm saying? So I understand why there could be backlash against this, but at the same time, what what the show was portraying, that's a childhood memory. That's a key thing that you grew up with. And, you know what I'm saying, I never, we never had information come out about any of them being terrible people. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that there was backlash against these things, it was probably just fear or they were scared of this. So they were, you know, lashing out against it you know what i'm saying so it's just I'm, I'm playing both sides here where it's like oh there's probably they have they feel a type of way about it and then for the other side where it's like they were trying to portray it the best as they could you know the best way they can and showing all these children and everybody that they're good people and they're trying to have everything you know brought together you know and on the other side, people may feel that, hey, maybe maybe they're lying. Maybe there's something else behind this. Like, I can't trust them. You know, something happened to me like this. I can't ever trust it again. You know, it's a lot that goes on into this. And hopefully the documentary kind of dives into these deeper parts and how it affected everyone. You know what I'm saying? They bring apart. They bring on people, you know what I'm saying, that probably did hate. But a lot of times I, I kind of over overthink about how things may run because they don't run how I would think they would run. So that's, you know, that's in my head. But uh, I'm down to do a, a whole review of the documentary if I, if, you know, if I ever get a chance to and if y'all who would want to see that. And, yeah, I'm not going to keep y'all here too much longer. So with that, y'all, it's been choosing. I'm going to be up. Peace.